Hello, a very warm welcome to you from SGT University. I, Dr. Jyoti Arora, from Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences, today will talk about jaundice. Jaundice is also known as icterus. Let us know first what is jaundice. Jaundice can be defined as the yellowish discoloration of skin, sclera. and mucous membrane when the serum bilirubin levels are more than 2 to 3 mg per deciliter normal levels of serum bilirubin are 0.3 to 1 mg per deciliter let us discuss formation of bilirubin bilirubin is formed from heme the major source of heme is hemoglobin present inside the cytoplasm of rbcs or red blood corpuscles a little bit amount of heme is also contributed from myoglobin and cytochromes now let us discuss how heme forms the bilirubin inside the reticulo endothelial system heme is acted upon by the enzyme heme oxygenase and the form product is biliverdin this biliverdin further is acted upon by the enzyme biliverdin reductase undergoes reduction and forms finally the bilirubin after their life span of 120 days the rbcs or the red blood corpuscle dissociate to form iron heme and globin iron further binds with apoferritin to form ferritin globin dissociates into amino acids adding upon to the amino acid pool of the body and heme as we just discussed now is converted to form bilirubin this bilirubin is in circulation is in bound form with the plasma protein albumin this is called as pre bilirubin or conjugated bilirubin the property of this is that is it lipid soluble and hence does not excrete out in urine Next is the step of uptake that is this bilirubin enters the hepatocytes further it undergoes conjugation with glucuronic acid to form conjugated bilirubin and last is the excretion of the conjugated bilirubin into the bile granuli which is a rate limiting step as albumin dissociates from bilirubin now this bilirubin enters the hepatocytes via a member of OATP family that is organic anion transport polypeptide then it becomes bound to the cytoplasmic protein next occurs its conjugation to glucuronic acid in a reaction catalyzed by the enzyme UDP glucuronyl transferase which is primarily located in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum one bilirubin molecule combines with two udp molecules to form bilirubin diglucuronide this conjugated bilirubin is in more soluble form as compared to pre bilirubin then it is transported against the concentration gradient into the bile granuli by an active transporter called as mrp2 that is multi drug resistance protein 2 majority of the bilirubin diglucuronide or the conjugated bilirubin passes into the intestine via the bile duct while only a small amount of this conjugated bilirubin passes into the blood and it gets filtered at the level of kidney and passes out into the urine in the intestine this conjugated bilirubin or the bilirubin diglucuronide undergoes the process of deconjugation by the bacterial enzyme glucuronidase forming a series of colorless derivatives of bilirubin urobilinogen and stercobilinogen stercobilinogen passes into the feces and oxidation occurs to form stercobilin which imparts brown color to the stools also 20% of this colorless compound urobilinogen passes back 
into the portal circulation by enterohepatic circulation it reaches the liver but a small amount of it also passes to systemic circulation which at level of kidney gets filtered and forms urobilinogen oxidation occurs to form urobilin and excreted out into the urine so what is enterohepatic circulation it is the reverse transport in which some of the reabsorbed substances from the intestine reach back to the liver and are excreted from liver now let us discuss vandenberg test in this test or action one can determine the type of bilirubin in serum in the principle the diazo region is used which comprises of sulfonylic acid hydrochloric acid and sodium nitrite this region reacts with the excess of conjugated bilirubin within 30 seconds and imparting reddish brown color this is called as direct positive reaction in the indirect positive reaction the diazo region reacts with excess of unconjugated bilirubin providing no color until some solvent like alcohol is added where the alcohol acts to dissolve the unconjugated bilirubin coming to the types of jaundice there are three types of jaundice prehepatic hepatic and post hepatic now let us first know the synonyms of these three types of jaundice prehepatic jaundice is also called as hemolytic jaundice or retention jaundice hepatic jaundice is also termed as hepatocellular jaundice or hepatotoxic jaundice post hepatic jaundice is also termed as obstructive jaundice or regurgitation jaundice Now let us differentiate between the three types of jaundice. The prehepatic jaundice is caused because of excessive RBC breakdown for example in the hemolytic anemia. Hepatic jaundice the main causes are infective hepatitis maybe bacterial or viral or cirrhosis or toxic damage to liver may be caused by the hepatotoxic drugs for example antitubercular drug rifampicin. In the post hepatic jaundice the main cause is mechanical obstruction to the bile duct maybe because of carcinoma head pancreas or bile duct stones the type of bilirubin which is raised in serum it is unconjugated in prehepatic jaundice unconjugated and conjugated both in hepatic jaundice and only conjugated bilirubin in the post hepatic jaundice now vandenberg test as we just discussed is indirect positive in first type of jaundice it's biphasic means both indirect as well as direct positive in the hepatic jaundice and only direct positive in case of post hepatic jaundice in pre hepatic jaundice no bilirubin is passed in urine and the condition is a choleric as only unconjugated bilirubin is raised in this type of jaundice in other two types of jaundice conjugated bilirubin raised levels impart deep yellow color to urine and the condition is called as cold uric urine urobilinogen levels are increased in prehepatic jaundice decreased in hepatic jaundice and absent in case of post hepatic jaundice fecal stercobilinogen levels are markedly raised in prehepatic jaundice providing dark color to stools they are decreased in hepatic jaundice providing pale color to stools and they are totally absent in post hepatic jaundice providing clay color to stools fecal fat levels are normal in prehepatic jaundice but are increased in hepatic jaundice as well as post hepatic jaundice giving rise to a condition called as steatorrhea in this condition bulky pale greasy and foul smelling feces are passed out because of inadequate emulsification and absorption of fats liver function tests are normal in prehepatic jaundice impaired in hepatic jaundice may be normal or mildly impaired in the post hepatic jaundice alkaline phosphatase levels are normal in prehepatic jaundice initially slightly increased but later markedly increased in hepatic jaundice and markedly increased in post hepatic jaundice 
SGOT, SGPT levels in prehepatic jaundice are normal but very high in hepatic jaundice and high in post-hepatic jaundice. Serum albumin, serum globulin and AYG ratio is found normal in prehepatic jaundice and post-hepatic jaundice. But in hepatic jaundice, albumin decreases and globulin increases. Because of rising globulin levels, there is markedly increased turbidity observed in thermal turbidity test, while slightly turbidity is observed in post-hepatic jaundice, but no turbidity is observed in prehepatic jaundice. In blood examination, anemia, heterocytosis, and abnormal RBCs in the peripheral smear are observed, while normal blood examination is found in hepatic as well as in post-hepatic jaundice. Now, discussing the neonatal jaundice. It is also called as physiological jaundice of newborn. The main causes are excessive RBC destruction and hepatic immaturity which leads to rise in the level of unconjugated bilirubin. It appears on second or third day of the birth. Mainly, it is in mild form only and it is present in some newborns and this disappears within two weeks. In this, phototherapy is advised. Exposure of the skin to white light converts bilirubin to lumirubin which is formed after photoisomerization of bilirubin. It has shorter lifespan and is more soluble as compared to bilirubin, hence excreted out easily as compared to bilirubin. The eyes and the gonads are protected in this phototherapy. Next to discuss is connectares. It is a condition which is seen when unconjugated bilirubin levels are raised in newborns and especially when the plasma concentration rises more than 25 mg per cent. At that time, it crosses the blood-brain barrier and causes permanent brain damage. The most common site where it gets deposited in the brain is basal ganglia. So today, we covered the topic jaundice. Next time we meet, we will talk about another topic from the unit blood. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. See you next time.